30 years ago, uh, we went to a, a tournament, and uh, he was pitching. So I, I said, well, shoot, I can do that. My name is Barbara Taylor, and I'm from York, South Carolina, originally from Indian Land. Uh, I pitch horseshoe all over the United States, but the World Tournament was in Florence, South Carolina last week. We're down 39 to 23, and this is a situation where, um, you know, the points cancel out. So, I mean, not only were you down 16, but you had to make sure that she did not score. So just tell us about what All you were right. thinking then. I do not look at the scoreboard, <laughs> but I glanced up at the scoreboard, and the score was 23 to 13. Well, I thought, shoot, I'll never catch her. I, th I threw first, and she topped mine. Oh, my goodness, she was tough. She was real tough. And so uh, we just, I just kept pecking away, and I reached down to pick the shoes up before I called the score out, and she stuck her hand out. And when she stuck her hand out, I thought, and I looked around that scoreboard, <laughs> and I said, oh, gosh, and that's the last thing I remember, you know, because I was so excited, I started crying. And So just tell us about the, like, odds that you were facing. I mean, this wasn't, a, oh. a, a like, a 32-person tournament or something. I mean, this was, like, a massive tournament, and you had to... How, like how many horseshoes you threw the whole week and just, you know, you, oh, you weren't even necessarily one of the favorites. Oh, no. Yeah. I was number 12. Yeah. Number 12 going in. And the first uh, first three days, we pitched five <laughs> games uh, for the first three days and we pitched 40 shoes. So when I went back on Friday, I was thinking, you know, uh, well, you know, I'll just do the best I can because I didn't think I had any chance of winning the tournament because I knew Sheila wouldn't lose a game. Right. I pitched a 76 on her the first time, and I pitched a 70% on her the second time. My average is in the 60s. I usually pitch in the 60s. I went in with a 69. For, for the normal human, <laughs> <laughs> this is she's referring to if she threw 100, ring, uh, 100 horseshoes, she would hit the ring 76 say. times, which... Is pretty incredible. Mm -hmm. I think I might have thrown a ringer once in my entire life. So but I did it's an abnormally good yeah. level of, of play. How often, uh, you are a very serious horseshoe thrower. How, how often do you throw, like even in outside of competition? We throw somewhere every Saturday, in, like in a tournament. Every summer into my turn, 7 o'clock, and I'll throw my 100 shoes. And then in the afternoons, I try to get back out there and throw another 100 shoes. So I throw at least 100 shoes a day. So when you're hitting about 70% ringers, is the game still fun or has it reached a level of seriousness to where oh, it's... always serious. You don't yeah. want nobody... <laughs> you do not want anybody talking. Mm -hmm. And it was quiet. Right. It was quiet. You could hear a pin drop. That's how quiet it was. And I don't look up in the stands. I stay focused on that stake. Right. For the weekend chucker, like what would be... If you had to give them one tip, what would be one thing that you think is like critical to be able to throw consistently? Oh, you stay focused. You okay. stay focused on that stake. Or if you're really bad, just talk a lot? Yeah, if you, yeah, <laughs> yeah, if you talk a lot, you're going to be bad. <laughs> um, you've won numerous uh, state championships and uh, like pro tour tournaments. What's the weirdest prize or trophy you ever got? This, this is like a pretty standard trophy. What's, the, what's like the weirdest uh, prize you ever got? Uh. Oh well, gosh, I ain't ever had any weird ones. When I've had some, uh, when I pitched in Utah, I got a rock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how often do you go to social gatherings where people don't know you and and you and they're throwing horseshoes and you get out there and you right. just run them? I mean, you have to have like some sort of side hustle going on, right? All right. Well, in <laughs> St. Augustine, uh, we heard there was going to be a tournament in St. Augustine. There's a lot of money involved in it. Lord, was at a fairground and there was oodles of horseshoe pitchers out there. And so uh, we we weren't losing any games at all. We were tearing them up. And so when uh, I got to one little young boy, he looked at me and he said, what's your name? And I said, Barbara Taylor. And so that was it. A little bit I passed him. He said, I Googled you. I Googled you. 